Hey guys, what's up? It's Atom here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are going to be making a video on how to start a YouTube channel with little to no money. You are going to need three main things. A gaming PC. Well, actually, any PC at all. You can use your mum's home PC that sits in her office. You're going to need recording software. You may think recording software is expensive and all that sort of thing. Well, no, I've got the solution for you today. And finally, we're going to need some source of audio, whether it's from your webcam, whether it's from your crisp Razer gaming headset that you've got overpriced, or whether it's your mic on your computer. All those sort of things are perfectly fine. So, let's get straight into the video. I'm Atom, hope you enjoy the video, and leave a like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So guys, what we've got here is we have the open broadcasting software website. I will put the link in the description for this software in the video description down below. So what we've got here is we've got the Windows logo and the Mac logo and the Linux logo. So here is the download installer for the classic version and up above we have the installer for the studio version up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click download installer, run through the download and let's get to it. So what we've got here is we have OBS. I am running on the 64-bit because that's what my computer supports. So what we are going to do is we're going to click the little plus down on the bottom left hand corner. I already have a load of scenes because this is my main sort of recording software I use. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click the plus and we're going to name the scene YouTube test or something like that. Just some, some sort of name. You're going to hit OK, and that's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, Add on the right-hand window, and there's a lot of options. We have all these options here, ranging from Display Capture to Game Capture. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Display Capture, hit OK, and as you can see, it's capturing my desktop screen. I can move it around, and it's going to capture my desktop. This is good for recording things like your web browser and things like that see as you can hear, I see I'm recording my web browser that's what I'm recording this video on in fact to be honest so that's all good now we're gonna move on to game capture so we're gonna right click again and click game capture what we can do is we can either click uh, capture any full screen application or any specific window I'm gonna hop into game and I'm gonna show you what to do so I have now opened Overwatch, as you can see in the background we can see it. So we're going to go into some settings here. We have general, we can select the language and other features. I haven't touched any of them myself, but you can mess around. Now we have stream settings. I'm not going to talk about streaming today, but if you want me to, get this video to 10 likes. You can stream on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, not Twitter, Twitch. I will teach you if we can get to 10 likes. So here we have the output, the most important. We have output mode sent to simple because, well, we want to be simple. It's going to be easy and quick for all you young YouTubers with school and uni. Next we have the streaming. We have the codec. We want X264. And we also want the bitrate to be in 256. Now we have the uh, outcoding files for recording. We want this to be selected, the file output to be in any way you really want. I've selected it to be recordings folder on my second hard drive under OBS. We have the recording quality and depending on your hard drive space is how much you can use really to be honest. We have large files, small files and all those sort of things. So what we have next is we have the in, oh, we have the format first. Well, we've got MP4, MOV. Those are the two best use for PC. I choose MOV myself, but if you're a Mac, you'll probably choose MP4 or something else. So let's get on to the next bit. What we're going to choose now is we're going to encoder. We want it to be on X264. That's the best. Now we have audio. I didn't change any of these except it's on 44.1 hertz. Just remember that. So now we're on to video, we're going to select 1080p, and we're not going to downscale. You're only going to downscale in if your computer is really struggling with the frames. I haven't downscaled at all. 
now we have the FPS log. I chose 60 because it's, of course, the FPS sweet spot for recording. So now we're going to go into hotkeys. You can change these to whatever you want, ranging from cutting, start recording, start streaming, transitions, and all those sorts of things things so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the advanced settings great so now what we're going to do in the advanced settings is we're going to not change any of it yes don't change any of it unless you know what you're doing i haven't changed any of it and i'm still going fine don't change the advanced settings unless you know what you're doing so now you've recorded your wonderful gameplay you got some mean quintuple kills and blown up the enemy we're gonna learn how to edit let's go do that right now and use some really great transition which you shouldn't use ever again so the software we're gonna be using is movie maker on the Microsoft website so it is all legit and it's free no scams here no sorry I don't do scams so we're gonna do is we're going to go and click the download button highlighted in blue besides Windows Movie Maker 2012 go hit that and we're going to follow the download procedure and start editing. So guys, we are here on the Movie Maker homepage. What we're going to be doing today is under one minute, we are going to replicate this. This exact thing I made 30 seconds ago. Great, we're going to replicate that. Delete it. So what we're going to do, in the top left corner, we're going to go add videos and photos to add video. So I'm going to add my intro, and I'm going to add my highlights of the week. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click the first one, and there is audio. We can adjust the volume. But the audio sounds really bad, so we're going to get rid of it, all in all. On this one, we don't have any audio, because it's silent. But there's a slight problem. If we move the black cursor, we see that we have a lot of black. We don't want to look at black, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it back a little bit, and we're going to make it just so it turns black, and we're going to click split. Or M. M is the shortcut. Then we're going to click on the delete, on um, the split bit, and we're going to click delete. Split bit. I'm a poet. Now, that's great. So now we have a little thing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a transaction. Don't do a transaction like I did last time, because it looks really bad. Just, just look. Looks awful. Don't add something like this. It looks like it's not fully muted. It looks like a PowerPoint from year four. Look at that skill right there. We're gonna either want to add fade to blur or fade to black. So here it's gonna fade into each other like that, or we can fade to black, or it just fades to black and then to the other video. I prefer to fade to another video. That's personal preference, so this is it. Perfect. What we're going to do is we're going to add some music. So we're going to click the music note up the top here, and we're going to add this song. We can double click the song, we can change the volume of the song, we can move the cursor and split. Don't get mixed up with splitting video and splitting audio. Video, audio, video, audio, video, audio, video, audio. Great. Now you got that in your head. Video, audio. Now you got that. Don't muck it up, because I know a lot of people, even I do it myself, I split audio when I want to split the video, and then I split the video when I want to split the audio, and it just messes up. You've got a bit of video you want in there, but you don't have any music. It's awful. So now I've got that, we're going to click play. Practically in under a minute, if anyone was counting, go ahead and count and see how long that actually took me without me blabbering on my physical actual editing of this clip here took. Wasn't that long. So that's all for the video. What we're going to do now is we're going to file and we're going to go save movie. Don't go save project because that saves it like a Word document so you can edit it later. Doesn't save it and export it. You want to click save movie and I normally click for high definition display. Because why not get the best display? We're going to overwrite our old YouTube test. And we're going to click replace. And it's going to go. Like Sonic. And then it's going to come up with this little window here. And you can either play it or open it in folder. Here's my folder. Let's play it. So that's what we've come up with. 
So that's all from me guys, hope you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and until the next video, tutorial, or gameplay, I'm Atom, and see you next time.